Okay, let's go back again. Another tutorial of Somali language. Um, today we're going to study few words how to say um, foods and drinks and things like that. And also, uh, it's if you do want to learn Somali language, one of places that you can might be go practice, meet some people, talk to them, some say some words is at the Somali restaurant. Uh, many Somali uh, people who came abroad, uh, all the diaspora living around the world, they do have their own business. The Somali people are very, very uh, business people. So they do have their own business. So try uh, to go in a Somali restaurant and ask them a few questions if you do want to learn about their culture, about their food, things like that. And one way of uh, meeting someone else, just going and having to eat someone, some something with someone. Okay, let's start to the first. Unto, unto, unto. That means food. Abitan, drink. Abitan, abitan, drink. Okay. Um, uh, there is a few words that uh, sometimes is very difficult. Other pers, other people who doesn't have the word a or ka to pronounce but uh, some people they do change or remove it but if you do try your best you can learn it and I will help you to learn it how to say uh, breakfast in Somali language Qura, Qura, Qura. that means breakfast what about lunch lunch Qadu. Qadu. that's a lunch what about dinner Asho. Asho. that's a dinner Okay, what, what is the sum of the common um, food uh, the Somali people they eat? Um, well, might be the culture change. Well, to tell you exactly the truth uh, about Somali, Somali are also very diversity, I mean, society. Uh, we do have a different people from different places came to Somalia, East Africa, except the people who come from originally or, or Somalian. So we used to have an Indians that come from India. We do have a lot of people come from Middle East, such as Yemen, um, a man I believe, uh, lived in Somalia for many, many years. We do have a uh, people from other African uh, parts that came to Somalia. So, um, and the colonial, such as Italian, that came to Somalia also, they bring such spaghetti, batsa, Basta. So, um, so there is a lot of good food uh, in Somalia. Recently, I traveled in Somalia and I came back. Uh, I was there two months. So I was really enjoying my time. But what is the sum of the foods that Somali people, they do eat at home? Angelo. Angelo. Some people, they pronounce Angelo. Others, Angelo. Similar. A little bit of a uh, written way. And, and also, Loho. It's another way uh, to say Angelo. Um, that's uh, it's something the people they made it at home. Roti, roti, that's a bread. Some people they say roti, others they say rudi, and that's a kind of like northern south. She, she, that's a tea. Somali people are very very popular. I mean drinking a tea morning, midday night every time and because we add a lot of sugar it's something that the other people or the somali people they don't understand when we come some places that doesn't have a sun it's not good to drink um tea with a lot of sugar because you don't sweat and and that can has a health impact and the people they don't understand we move to a different uh, place so we don't have to we cannot use a lot of sugar now uh, because of uh, we don't you know, we, it's very cold or you don't you know sweat things like that okay um I know I know milk Allen the Allen it's called actual uh, the tea itself before uh, making the the tea actual tea um, so Somali is very common uh, with the Ano and Shah 
everywhere you go to Somalian house, they will offer you a tea. But the problem is that the most of the people who are who go to a work at home uh, to visit someone's home, they might not, they might not dr drink. But some people they do. Uh, but if you want to ask, so you can say, "See, I need a share." Uh, but that's uh, that's not a good way to ask someone. Um, the w right way, well, people they will you will done you know usually ask someone uh, unless he's your friend or um, someone that you're related. But a majority of the people they will offer you a, a tea when you get their home. But if you go to a restaurant, you can ask see cop shaha ano. Give me one cup of tea and milk. Okay, the next word is bio. Very important. Bio, water. In any case, if you ended up somewhere, you can ask, give me water. Uh, bio is C. I'm a bio missing karta. Sometimes um, the season is saying BC. BC is means a give me water. That means that you're giving an order to someone to give you water. But in Somali, it's very common. Uh, it's a we that's but but you the uh, respect way that you can ask someone biyama is seen karta an abu can you give me a water uh, to drink biyama is seen karta an abu can you give me any water to drink uh, kahwe kahwe that's on a coffee kahwe biyama an juice Bio is water, man is sweet. Bio man. Um, how you can ask a breakfast if you go sometimes in a restaurant, some other restaurant. Um, you can check their menu or whatever they have, but there is a lot of different food, uh, food uh, available in these uh, restaurants. Uh, maybe next time I will go one of them and I will write their menu and I will come back and I will present you. Okay, Angela. Angela, Angela, that's the flatbread that we're talking about. Iyo marak digek and chicken soup. You know, chicken soup. Chicken soup was not very common back in Somalia, but the chicken itself is very, very, very common and different tests than this. I don't know, uh, chicken. Okay, Angela, Angela, yo ukun. That means Angela and X. That's how you can ask someone to give you breakfast. What about lunch? Lunch. Uh, also, we're very common for uh, such as a um, camel milk. I mean, no, not camel milk. Yes, camel milk, but also camel meat and goat meat. So, and interestingly, and although that the United States doesn't have a lot of uh, um, goats or um, camel. Uh, I uh, heard that the meat, goat meat that we eat here in the in the states, uh, in the United States, that comes from Australia and also the uh, the camel itself. Um, and there was a history. I think that when the British colonized um, in East Africa or in the, some of other places. They uh, took uh, camels, and that was a uh, wild in Australia uh, for many years. Until now, the people they think how the camel is important, and uh, now they do have a uh, farms of places for the camel, wild camel, and they do sell the meat and the milk. I think to Somali people and other other people that's very interesting. But also, okay, the goat meat and rice. That's a baris yo Philip Ari. Um, Hilip Gil Ye Baris, that means camel, meat, and rice. A uh, few other words that how you can say Makayat, a restaurant, uh, were Hage, when accent, good, when accent is good. So if you do want to say, I um, mean, where I can get a good Somali restaurant, you can say, Hagen ke helikara makayet Somali wen aksan. Hagen wa hage makayet Somali wen aksan. Here is a few words that I do want to stop. I mean, and teach you how to pronounce. Uh, the first was unto. 
Uh, anytime you're learning a language, you have to learn exactly how to pronounce that word or also how it's written that language. You cannot write uh, your own way. I mean, you can write in your notes how to pronounce it, but you cannot write in a book. That's how to pronounce it because you're teaching uh, the others in a wrong way to pronounce it. But here is some examples uh, that can a little bit help you if you do have a uh, hard time to pronounce the word ah. Ah, the word ah, you can you can say unto food, abitan, drink, abitan, abitan, drink, asha, asha, that means dinner, alen, that means tea, other words, qura, that's a breakfast, qadu, lunch, kahwe, coffee. If you do have a question, let me know. Also, I created a website for this uh, project. Also, other people who are very interested to learn Somali language. Now, I am available and I can teach you. I will have a hard time even updating this account because I was not available. Uh, but I am now I'm very available. If you do want to learn Somali language, let me know. I will try, try to teach you through the Skype. So until then, next time, nice to... Talk to you again and have a good day. Bye.